guys welcome back again in today's tutorial we'll be showing you how to draft up Ankara trouser and um, if you should look at this Ankara fabric you will find out that it has a kind of design that is facing on one direction so it is very important for you to understand how to draft out this pattern with uh, of trouser with this type of fabric so what we have to first consider before cutting it out is the measurement the length is at 8.5 the west is at 4.5 the nail the lap is 24 the nail is 13 while the bottom of the ankle is 13.5 so this Ankara fabric, I have already folded it into two. This is the right side, this is the right side, and this is the wrong side of the fabric. We, we normally draw at the wrong side of the fabric. If you want to draw a pattern, we draw at the wrong side of the fabric. And that you have to understand is that on this Ankara, this is the foreign edge. The foreign edge has to be. Uh, on the bottom and on the top of the uh, of the fabric. So why folding it? You fold with the body edge at the up and at the bottom. The reason is that this this Ankara, if you should measure it, the width of it is about five inches. And normal fabric, normal suiting fabric, if you should measure normal suiting fabric, the width is 60, 60 inches. So. We see that one as by 60 and this one is by 45. So I'm going to start by drawing. I will mark out this foreign edge at the top of it. That's the first thing I have to do. I will draw a line to mark it out so that it will not be included while taking my measurements. You can see I've draw something so I will remove one inch from the top let me place it at this edge remove one inch and I will measure out the length of the trouser the length of this entire trouser is that eight inches just as I've said before I mark my that eight inches I push my tape forward and also mark the that eight point five so, sorry it's that eight point five not that eight inches so uh, we add 2.5 inches at the bottom, the folding or the hemming. The 2.5 is for the folding or the hemming. So I uh, will connect those dots with a, my ruler to get a straight line. So I've drawn the line, the length of the trouser is for the hemming so I will move to the west region so I will mark out one inches mark out one inches and I will divide the four the west measurement by four the west is at 8.5 if you want to achieve that if you don't have your calculator by your side to start pointing, you fold your tap into two, the first into two, you fold it into two, you divide it at eight, that is 4.5 into two first, you divide by two, and you fold that divide whatever you have again by two. Whatever you have as your answer, you fold that divide it by two. So this is what we have as 34 and a half divided by 4. So we have uh, roughly 8 and a half. So uh, more than 8 and a half. Uh, we mark it. We add another 1 inch to it. So I'll measure from here to here. This is uh, 11 inches. I will bring the 11 inches down and we mark it add one inches to it I will connect the two points so our 
our crotch base and we make it 10 inches I mark it 10 inches Your 10 inches we start from this point the English mat with the area you remove at the English mat that's where it's going to start we also mark another 10 inches I will connect it with my rule so I'm going to mark out the lap the lap is 24 24 inches if we divide 24 by 2 it will give us uh, it will give us 12 but I'm going to add extra one inch because this is anchor we are cutting you know the, this type of anchor fabric you have to give uh, more allowance at the lap area so that the it will not easily tear if it is tight on the body of the your client it can easily tear off so you give allowance so that that lap area will be in, in, in kind of it will be free on your client's body so that it will not easily tear out so i gave one inch extra then i will mark my half new the half of it i will make it 19 inches is 19 inches so i will push forward the 19 inches and also mark mark the 19 inches i connect it this is the knee point our knee point so i will remove one and a half inches one and a half inches and our nail is the nail measurement is 18 18 divided by 2 will give us 9 inches I mark 9 inches on this area I mark out 2 the the anchor measurement is 13.5 13.5 divided by 2 will give us 6.75 I mark it so 6.75 I'm going to connect it connect here to here also here to here Here. So I will use my French cup to connect here. So we also connect here. Now we bring one inch down I'll connect it to have a slant line slant a kind of slant on this area so I'm going to cut out now I'm done drafting the front of this uh, trouser I'm going to cut it out after I will use it to trace the back but I want you to watch very carefully this is the area where some people make mistake so you need to stay true to watch how I we cut the back so that you understand what I mean when I mean when, when I'm bringing this video of the Ankara I want you to see something so let me cut the cut out the front first I'm done 
cutting this I will write the measurement this 34.5 34.5 this 38.5 this same part 8.5 so now normally if we are to if I'm to cut my trouser I put this forward what I will do is that I will turn this Ankara this way I will turn in such in such a way that here we be the place that is at the top will be at the bottom while the place that is at the bottom will be at the top so but I want you to watch something if I should turn it this way look at the design of this Ankara look at the design of the Ankara if I should turn it this way it means that the front side of this design that this tree this tree design on the Ankara fabric it will be facing up the front side will be facing up but if you turn at the back you will not find out that this tree will not be pointing downward which is what we will try to avoid so to avoid this tree not to point downward and the front pointed upward we have to also mark out place we have to place the 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 front at the same way we have to pardon me we have to place the back the same way we place the front so this is the front we have cut out this front so instead of turning this way we have to put it in this way so i don't know if i'm making sense so this is how we're going to achieve this i push this downward So I will cut here first. Let me cut the side first. Let me cut this side first. So the reason is just so that the design will all be facing upward. The tree design on the Ankara fabric will be facing upward. That's why you have to the same way you place. The, the front it will be the same way the back will be placed so having cut here out what i will do is that i will i will push the front forward giving a space this place will be the same allowance so i will measure it out so i have two inches yeah i will leave it at two inches same allowance from the bottom to the from the bottom from the up to the bottom two inch seam allowance so i'm going to cut right now I'm going to cut it so when i get to this point i will stop so and what i will do is to send it backward again I will send it backward again. So I will bring out one inch on this point, one inch. So at this area, I project two and a half, two point five inches out. I will use my pre curve, free hand curve to connect it. And this from this area will be slant. So you can see how it is. I will now cut it out. So this is just the trouser. I will take here out. This will be for my fly piece. The trouser fly piece. So 
so this will be for the fly piece and here will be for the bed holder I will use this for the bed holder So this is the trouser, every other thing like the pocket, the side pocket, so like the side pocket, the wet pocket will still come out from the Ankara fabric. So this is all about uh, cutting of our Ankara trouser, how to achieve it to have the same, the same results. Just look at the back, you can see the back that the the, the flower design, the tree design that is drawn, they are all facing upward. They are all facing upward. They are all facing upward. You can see this is the front. This is the front. This is the tree. It's facing upward. This is the back of the tree. They are facing on the same direction. So don't forget to give a mark of chalk to so that you can differentiate the wrong side with the with the back side thank you very much for watching and please don't forget if you are new to my channel look at look below the the, the, the this video you see a subscribe button hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to also that you will get notified whenever i upload a wonderful video like this. See you on my next video. Peace.